Hi, I'm David from Retool. Large language models are really smart. They chat, reason, and help you code. LLMs can talk, but they can't act. To act, LLMs need tools. That's why we've introduced Retool Agents. We give LLMs the tools to execute real work inside your business. Let's go see how it works. On your left side, you see a typical office workflow. And on the right side, in the virtual office, you see agents doing the same kinds of tasks, coding, messaging, resolving issues. Much of this work is repetitive and can be automated, but only if LLMs have powerful, specific, and customized tools. That's the key. So let's zoom in. On the left, our accountant, performing a multi-step manual process to find a chargeback in Stripe. It takes five minutes, so long, we had to, in fact, speed it up by 10 times. And on the right, Retool agent number 17 is doing the same task, but in real time. The secret, powerful, predefined tools we gave the LLM to go get chargeback from Stripe, to go gather evidence from your Postgres database, and submit it back to Stripe. In those five minutes, agent number 17 finds 50 chargebacks. Wow, so much faster. That's the power of LLMs with the right tools. And with Retool, you can manage your agent and replay all the work he's doing, as if you were watching over his shoulder. We can build Retool agents to automate work all across your company. Create one to handle daily project management tasks by listening to standups, creating and assigning tasks in Jira, following up on blockers, syncing updates across different data sources, and keeping everyone aligned without lifting a finger. Or Another agent to prepare materials for sales calls by researching attendees on LinkedIn, checking product usage from your internal databases, pulling internal notes from Salesforce, drafting talking points, and generating a personalized pitch deck in Google Slides in just minutes. Or one to act as an executive assistant to find time across packed calendars, coordinating across different time zones, rescheduling conflicts, booking meetings with full context, and assuring your calendar is always perfect. With Retool agents, LLMs finally have specific, custom tools to tackle your business problems. Join the thousands of other companies using Retool to automate real work today. Our customers have already automated over 100 million hours of labor using AI in Retool. That's a whole 5,000 person-sized company working for an entire decade. That's nearly $5 billion in value. But with Retool Agents, we're setting an even more ambitious goal. Automate 10% of U.S. labor by 2030. Retool Agents are available now. Can't wait to see what you build. You've just seen a glimpse of what we think software could look like. Not in some distant future, but right now. Our goal is ambitious, but straightforward. We are aiming to automate 10% of U.S. labor with retail agents by 2030. Now, that might sound a little crazy, but our customers have already automated over 100 million hours of real work with retail. To put that into perspective, that's around $5 billion of actual concrete value unlocked. That's a whole 5,000 person-sized company working for an entire decade. AI's had a weird few years. Companies have poured billions of dollars into AI, but largely speaking, we've got chatbots. They're impressive, but limited. They talk, but they don't act. They don't actually integrate into your business systems, trigger your workflows, or perform real tasks. MCP is great, but it's just getting started right now. Chatbots haven't fundamentally automated work yet. And as a result, we have this enormous disconnect between investment and outcomes. In fact, there's roughly a trillion dollar gap between what we've put into AI and we've gotten out of it so far. So what's missing? LLMs can conclusively pass the Turing test, but the problem is that they just can't do anything yet. Even with MCP, which we love and support with our product, many of the tools just aren't specific enough to your business. And so if we're serious about using AI to fundamentally reshape productivity, we need more than just sophisticated conversations. We need an app layer for AI. A practical, reliable, and scalable way to convert powerful LLMs into software that does actual work.
into software that solves real business problems. This app layer would bridge the gap between what an LLM can do and what a business needs done. It's the layer that transforms AI from a promising technology into measurable, actionable productivity. Now, some of you have already started building AI-driven apps in Retool. That's great. But what we're introducing today takes it further. Agents represent a completely new type of software. They automate reasoning at scale, safely and predictably. They meaningfully expand the scope of what software can do by giving LLMs real tools connected to your actual data and processes. It turns out there's a pretty simple formula here. If you take powerful LLMs, pair them with hyper-specific, carefully designed tools, and deploy them on Retool, you get agents that deliver meaningful impact to your organization. Every Retool query or workflow you've written can now be used by an LLM. That is the secret to unlocking value from LLMs. LLMs that don't just chat, but actually do. This isn't an incremental update. This is Retool's next major chapter. Today's launch marks the beginning of our path towards a fully AI native engine, a secure, reliable, enterprise grade and developer friendly platform that allows you to leverage AI everywhere across your company. And the reason we're leading this effort is because we've already built the foundation. Retool already powers mission critical software at thousands of companies, already the app layer, the connective tissue between your data, your logic, and your workflows. Every Retool primitive you've built is now a tool an LLM can use. Wow. And this is why you, the builders, creators, and engineers are essential. You are the ones who will take AI from a series of impressive demos and transform it into something tangible, powerful, and actually useful. The real story here isn't about AI. It's about what you can actually achieve with it. So let's dive in. Kent will now show you exactly how to build your first retool agent right now and demonstrate this is already changing what software can accomplish. Hey all, I'm Kent. Let's learn more about retool agents. At its core, an agent is simple. You give an LLM some input, access to tools, and you let it run until the task is done. Although agents are simple, there are an enormous number of decisions to make if you're building agents from scratch. Everything from the framework, the cognitive architecture, providing a cohesive model layer, to the more traditional considerations of deployment, infrastructure, and scalability. We saw our customers rebuilding this AI orchestration layer over and over. So we built Retool Agents to take care of the undifferentiated work and give you a flexible, powerful system to automate real business processes without reinventing the wheel every time. So how does this work? Let's have a closer look at the project manager agent that we saw in the previous clip. As the description says, this agent helps manage projects for an engineering team. It listens to our team stand up and keeps our project tracker, docs, and stakeholders up to date. It saves a lot of time we'd otherwise spend tracking down and copying information across different systems. This is exactly the kind of thing that's suited to an agent rather than a standard predefined workflow. I needed to operate across multiple contexts and make judgment calls, like interpreting something my teammate said in standup and turning it into the appropriate action item, or contextualizing exactly what to share with different stakeholders. Now, this agent usually runs programmatically. It gets triggered from a webhook, but we can also chat with it directly. For example, we might say, make sure everything discussed today is attracted linear and an update is sent out. We can see the agent get to work. First, it reads our standup transcript. Then it pulls in linear tickets to understand the current project state. At any time, we can inspect its thoughts and see what it's doing and why. We can view the tools it's using and see the exact inputs and outputs from each one. The agent isn't a black box. You can follow along at every step. Here 
It's retrieved some data, created a few tickets, and paused before sending a project update. It's waiting for my approval. This looks good, so I'll approve it, allowing it to send that email and wrap up its task. These agents are powerful, so let's have a look at how you set one up. On the configuration page, we define their behavior. As a builder, this is totally customizable, so you can adapt agents to any scenario, from simple chatbots to systems that manage complex processes. You can choose which models to use. We provide OpenAI, Anthropic, Llama, and DeepSeek out of the box, or you can connect to any other model you've set up in Retool. We can also set model parameters like temperature, which affects the creativity. And importantly, we can set a maximum number of iterations to prevent agents from getting stuck in loops and burning a bunch of tokens. Now let's talk tools because tools are actually what make agents powerful. To do anything useful, the agent needs secure access to your data and systems. Interestingly, the types of tools we give agents are basically the same things we've been building retool apps on top of for years. Agents come with lots of pre-built tools. Google Calendar, Docs, retool storage, email, web search, code execution, data visualization, and more. We can easily add any of them to our agent by selecting them here. For the use cases that are specific to you and your business, you'll want to build custom tools. These can connect to anything you've integrated with Retool, giving you the ability to create tools on top of almost any database, API, or third-party SaaS tool. Existing workflows and other agents can also be used as tools. This allows you to create multi-agent systems. And even better, we also connect to any remote MCP server. So any MCP tool like GitHub or Cloudflare can immediately be imported and used in Retool as a tool. Looking at this agent's tools, we have a REST query that pulls Zoom transcripts, a set of linear tools for getting and creating issues, and an email tool for sending project updates. Some tools read data, some tools write data. For example, the create issue tool, which writes data, expects some inputs. We've defined those here a title, a description, and an assignee ID. You want tools to be tightly scoped with clean interfaces and clear descriptions. This helps the LLM pick the right tool and provide the right inputs. This is the tool definition. The implementation lives inside of a function, which is a lot like a retool workflow and lets you implement custom logic that interacts with all your systems. Here, we're making a GraphQL mutation to create the issue. Custom tools let you combine the flexibility of LLMs with the trustworthiness of tested code. The LLM probably could generate this query, but we found that getting out of the LLM as fast as possible and into our deterministic code makes the agents much more reliable. If we know the query works, we want the agent to use it every time. We let agents use most tools autonomously, but for the send email tool, we've required user confirmation first. I wanna double check anything that's going to public channels. By specifying this on the tool level, the platform ensures that your agents never do anything without you first reviewing it. So we've seen an agent run, how it's configured, and how it's connected to tools, but how do we make sure it stays reliable over time? Agents and Retool log every step they take. You can see what happened, what tools were used, the inputs, outputs, and the thought process at every stage. This shows us the past, which is very handy for debugging and understanding the system, but to iterate with confidence and track quality over time, we use evals. We've set up a few evals on this agent to check that it keeps working the way we expect, especially when we make big changes, like adding tools, switching models, or modifying the prompt. 
you can run an eval against a dataset. Here, I'll use our sample inputs dataset. Each row is scored based on a reviewer, which could be something simple, like an exact string match, or more complex, like using an LM as a judge scoring system. Once you've run a few evals, you can compare them. After a big change, I might compare today's version against last week's to see where the scores improved or regressed. This level of observability and control lets you confidently deploy agents across your systems without sacrificing trust and reliability. As you build more and more agents, it becomes imperative to have insight into their behavior at scale. With the monitoring page, you have a full real-time view of how your agents interact with each other, the tools they have access to, along with other metrics you need to make sure things are staying on track. That was just one example of what you can now build with agents. Retail Agents allows you to combine state-of-the-art AI patterns with the customizability of Retool, giving you a flexible, intelligent decision-making system on top of the trusted platform you're already using today. The best way to understand the power of agents is to build one. To get started, grab a template or build one from scratch today. What we've demonstrated today is the power of building on a true application layer. Retool Agents is the missing piece that transforms impressive large language models into complex automations and real business impact. Just as AWS became the infrastructure layer for cloud computing, Retool is becoming the definitive app layer for AI. And you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what customers have to say. At ClickUp, we fundamentally believe in efficiency and getting more done faster. And this is one of the reasons that we invested so heavily in AI from the beginning, because we saw that it was this force multiplier that could really, really up-level our execution capabilities, uh, both internally and for our customers. One of the first use cases that we built out for sales was this inbound AI agent to uh, intake, evaluate, qualify, and route, and potentially even transact uh, these kind of inbound inquiries that we have. And over time, that saved us you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in terms of headcount costs or and just speed to lead, uh, as well as actually made us revenue. You know, when you build with AI, there's, you know, actually oftentimes the actual AI component of whatever you're building is quite small, but the business context that needs to go into those prompts, the structure of the outputs, the you know, taking those outputs and putting them somewhere useful or or kicking off other automations or decisioning based on that. All of that is is what it takes to really get value out of an AI application. And that's the thing that Retool gives us the scaffolding and the framework to do. And so that's where we, we really see Retool as our application layer for, for AI is it really is a full partnership across all parts of, of building an application out. Uh, versus just, you know, feeding things to AI and, and just that little microcosm. Our vision is clear. The tools are ready, the platform is here, and the future of work is being reimagined today. It's how, using Retool, our customers have already automated 100 million hours of work. And how together, we'll reimagine what's possible in the AI era. Can't wait to see what you all build.